understand. All men should be fully aware of the structure and functions of their reproductive system, because this can prevent the occurrence of several health problems. If you know how your body functions, you will know how to protect it and keep it healthy. So I'll be sharing some hopefully useful information about the male reproductive system in this video. The male sexual organs have two main functions. One is to produce sperms for the purpose of reproduction. Two is to produce the male hormones, mainly the testosterone. You are able to reproduce because your brain makes certain hormones that stimulate your reproductive system to produce sperms and testosterone. Using this model, I will explain the structure and function of each organ in the male reproductive system. Most sexual male organs are present outside the body, and this requires more caution, so as to protect them from harm. Starting with the testes, you normally have two of them, and they are responsible for producing mainly the male hormone testosterone. They are present in a sac outside the body, known as the scrotum. The scrotum maintains a lower temperature and contains smooth muscles. When you're sick or feverish, these muscles work to distance the testes away from your trunk, or, so to say, the center of your body, so that the testes remain at a cooler temperature, which is important to preserve a healthy sperm production process. That's why I would advise men to avoid sitting for long periods of time with the laptop or notebook on their laps, because it decreases the sperm activity and may cause infertility due to exposure to thermal radiation from those computers. A small tube known as the epididymis arises from each testis. Its function is to store the fresh sperms until their maturation. The testis is surrounded by a network of blood vessels, in which some patients might suffer from varicose veins that could affect their fertility. The epididymis is important for sperm maturation and transport from the testis to the penis. Let me show you its course. It starts from right behind the testis and moves upwards, winding around the urinary bladder and then goes into this gland known as the prostate. The prostate, together with the small neighboring glands called the seminal vesicles, secrete a sugary fluid in which the sperms swim. This fluid nourishes sperms and allows for the transport through the urethra within the penis and finally to the outside of the body. Concerning the penis, it actually starts from the inside of your body. Here, you will notice that there is a large part of it present inside the abdomen and there is its outer part. So anatomically, the penis is formed of three parts. The root of the penis, inside the abdomen, the body of the penis, and the head of the penis, which contains a small opening for passing urine and semen. Inside the penis, you will notice a spongy structure that contains numerous small blood vessels, which get filled with blood and, as a result, erection occurs. 
So erection is actually a collection of retained blood within the penis. That's why if you would like to have a stronger erection, you should maintain a healthy state of your blood vessels. How? By living a healthy lifestyle, doing regular exercise, avoiding eating unhealthy fats and avoiding smoking. As you can see, the end of the penis has a bulging end, which is called the head of the penis. And this contains numerous nerve endings responsible for sexual pleasure. Concerning the part of the penis inside the body, it is called the root of the penis. This part can add to your sexual pleasure if stimulated by your partner. If you have a normal prostate and you would like to have a prostatic massage during sex, your partner should press against the skin between the scrotum and the anal opening. This area is called the perineum. By doing this, you get to stimulate both the root of the penis and the prostate, which would add to your sexual pleasure. But please keep in mind that you can do this only if you have no prostate disorders. So like I said before, the male hormone testosterone is produced by the testes. And there are other hormones produced by the brain to stimulate the sperm production. They are called the FSH and the LH. If you have fertility problems and you consult a doctor, your doctor will check three hormones, FSH, LH, and testosterone. Now I will illustrate the shape of a normal sperm. Sperms have three parts, head, body, and tail. The head contains the nucleus that will fertilize the egg. And the tail is responsible for sperm movement towards the egg. The head contains the nucleus which will fertilize the egg. And the tail is responsible for sperm movement towards the egg. This is important to know before talking about fertility problems in the coming videos. Finally, concerning the epididymis, you will find it here more clearly. It arises from here, moving forwards and upwards, around the urinary bladder, into the prostate and the penis. That's why if prostatic enlargement occurs, it will cause problems during urination and ejaculation. Take good care of your health when you're young so you would protect your health when you're old. Prevention is always better than cure. I wish you good health. This video contains general information about medical conditions. The content might not be suitable for everyone and should not be treated as such. Always consult your doctor before using medications. The medical information is provided without any warranties or legal obligations to those who might apply them.